Okay, so this tutorial is going to show you guys how to archive your levels properly and get them to play in Fear. Uh, the tutorials that came with World Edit help, but they don't really clarify exactly how you have to make your uh, archive. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a. Actually, I'm just going to use one of these levels here, Sector World. So let's open it up, process it. And uh, okay, now it's processed. Now we're going to right click on this and I'm going to go find local file. It should bring it up right to Fear Dev Runtime Game Worlds Tutorials Sector World. So we want to use this processed file, the P. And also, let's pretend we have um, new textures and sound objects in this map. And I already made a folder called Custom in the Game folder called island so this houses our materials and textures materials and textures materials that go in here and again have these uh, sounds we have the sound file it's kind of nice ambient okay that's cool whatever so now we're gonna archive this so let's go ahead and minimize everything and open up archive edit And uh, we're going to create a new folder called Worlds. New folder in that. Call it uh, Release Multiplayer. So basically what we're going to do is go back into here, right click on this, find local file again. And we're just going to drag and drop our world 0 p file into Archive Edit right there. Boom, done. So now we got to go ahead and open up Notepad. And we need to, easiest way I find is just to go in the Worlds folder here, Release Multiplayer. Take a look at one of these INI files that they already have. Highlight it all, copy, and paste in your own. But this, there's a problem here. This line is not correct, so you got to delete that. Name str equals... Let's call it uh, test underscore sector. Minimum players, that's fine. Max players, required features. Uh, this, if you have dev DM, this map will only be available for deathmatch. Likewise with team deathmatch. We don't want that. So supported features, slow-mo, self-explanatory, and control. Uh, since this sector level is really just a test, we don't need any supported features like capture the flag. Capture the flag looks like this. And I believe capture looks like this. Capture all. Have to go look in another folder here just to actually make sure. Conquer all. So it would look like that. Conquer all. That's if you want your game mode, your map to be in every game mode possible. But we don't need that. So let's go ahead and delete these two lines. Photo. Since we don't have, we didn't take a picture of our uh, our map. So let's say we did though. We're, and we named the uh, the file, and we saved from Photoshop, and we called it map.dds. Well, this map.dds would go right in here with this file right here. So let's go ahead and save as... Uh, let's go right on my desktop. I'm going to name this. Oh, what's that map called? Sector world underscore zero zero p. So hit F2 and rename that file and copy the name. Paste over here. Dot I and I. All files. Save. And close that. Go back to our desktop. Um, hold on here. Yes. So here it is right here. I'm just going to click and drag into Archive Edit. Just like that. Now we're going to go back up to here. Remember that folder we had is called Custom? And the Game folder is called Custom. Simply just drag it right there. And uh, now all your stuff is in there properly. And 
click save on the desktop and I'm going to call this test underscore sector. It's going to compile it and it's done and now this map should be able to run online.